As you all know, I've been working in the field of uh, computer vision, doing research in computer vision, and I love to share some of the things I, I find um, difficult, some of the problems I encountered, so that someone else can learn from some of my difficulties. So one is actually how to load uh, your data set, your image data set from the uh, in TensorFlow from the on the disk. So for instance here yeah, I kept my image in my Google Drive since I'm using the Colab and I could connect to my Colab. Then I have this directory that contains all my images. So I need to load those images in TensorFlow. So TensorFlow provides this uh, a function which is from tf.keras.preprocessing preprocessing that uh, allows you to be able to load from directory. So you just specify the physical disk directory here then you can load it uh, using this function. So this is for the train and this is for the test now but so this is just how to load from the directory uh, straight away okay but the point the challenge here is that when this tf dot keras dot preprocessing uh, loads it returns uh, an object which is a batch data set the object that is returned is a batch data set and so if for instance in your fit function you need a numP array as in the case for this function I need a numP uh, a numpy uh, object for this for the X and for the Y since I'm training an autoencoder if you're training let's say a classification problem where you have labels in which case the uh, labels will be different from the input then you can just use the batch straight away because your your tf dot keras that preposes the image data set from directly has a batch size included in it and uh, it batches it and at the same time, it automatically gives you the label. So if you check in, in TensorFlow, you can see, you can read more about it in TensorFlow uh, API. So on the TensorFlow webpage. So this actually batches the, the labels and the training data. But in my own case, I don't need the labels. I need only the X so because of that and I at the same time my fit function autoencoder requires both the label to be this the label to be the same as the data so as a result of that I need to convert the batch data set into a numpy so to convert that so to convert the tf dot data set to numpy array uh, TensorFlow has this uh, TFDS that allows you to be able to uh, convert the batch data set into a NumPy where you can now extract both the image and the label. So this is the label I was talking about because this has label inside of it. So these are the labels. So these are categorical labels since it's just one class in my own case it's just one folder okay so uh yeah so then um so because now this comes in batches i decided to make sure that i set a batch number that is far larger than all the number of files in the in the data set so i said something like 
a million. So I'm sure that all the the number of batches will just be one. If I set something like maybe eight, so if you divide eight by ninety-five, maybe it gives me just like maybe uh, twelve batches there about or eleven batches. Okay. So, and I don't want uh, that number of batches. I want it to just be one batch because in my fit function, I'm still going to specify the number of batches. And this requires only num NumPy. So I hope you get what I'm trying to do there. So in order to extract the, the NumPy files, I needed to set this as none. So while looping through, then I could uh, actually put the image into the X string so that I can access this X string later on in the code. I tried to search for a better way of doing that, but I couldn't just get if anyone and does have a better way please put it in a comment below thank you so but i was able to uh, initialize this and uh, during using this for loop i can extract the numpy from the entire images which is this 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 part all right and that is just uh yeah, so this is just and uh, numpy now so the image is numpy so i can just go ahead and use it in my fit function of the uh, autoencoder i hope this will help someone uh, out there thank you very much and see you in the one